Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I'm recording off of my iPhone today. I figured I'm going to give it a try because it's getting laid out. It'll be easier to record with the iPhone and the GoPro anyways. I'll see how it does at nighttime and with quality. But before we get into the rest of this video, this is going to more than likely be one of the last times we start off a video in the XJ. Um, I'm getting a new I'm not going to expose it with the title, anything like that. You're going to have to watch through to see what it is. But this XJ is no longer going to be mine, but it will still be in the family. So it's not gone completely. I sold it to my dad. Um, so yeah, we're getting rid of the XJ. Uh, I've had it for three years. It's been, it was bone stock when I got it. So I've had, spent a lot of time and money on this thing. And it's kind of a bittersweet moment, but it's not the best daily driver. I don't want to be in it every day. My girlfriend doesn't want to be in it. When we go places, there's some squeaks and it's stuff at a lot of stuff I can get fixed. But at the end of the day, I don't want it anymore. I also need a car loan to help build my credit more so I can get a house in the future. So not only am I getting rid of it because I don't want it, I'm getting rid of it so I can afford a car loan so I can build my credit. But I might include some clips of the XJ. I don't know yet. So here is the last time we'll see the XJ in this form at least. But I will give you guys a hint. The new vehicle we are getting has the exact same bolt pattern as these wheels. So these wheels and tires will eventually be going onto it. But on the bright side, the vehicle we are getting is almost completely stock. So it's gonna be a fresh build for the channel. And it's going to be awesome and it's going to be better than this one on and off the road. So guys, it's a uh, next day for me, same video for you guys. By the time we finished up all the paperwork for this new vehicle, it was like seven o'clock at night, obviously dark out and it was actually pouring down rain too. Still raining now, so I haven't gotten a chance to enjoy my new vehicle without rain. Still on the iPhone though, but are you guys ready for the reveal? I'm excited about it. Friends and family are excited about it. I mean, <laughs> here it is.
we got a freaking Rubicon. Not just a Wrangler, but a Rubicon. This thing, obviously, it's bone stock besides some LED headlights, a winch, a Smitty built winch, and LED reverse lights. Other than that, this thing's bone stock. But if the sticker doesn't prove, trail rated badge doesn't prove it, here is. Oh, let me turn this on. There is our axle lock switch. So I want to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend's dad, Eric Kozer at Whitmoyer Chevrolet here in Mount Joy, PA. So if you guys need a vehicle, a good condition vehicle, hit him up. Um, I'm sure I don't have his phone number or email, but I'm sure it's on the website. Or if you decide to stop in, ask for Eric Kozer. But yeah, guys, here it is. So on the XJ, it's not completely gone. I did sell it, yes, but I sold it to my dad. So the XJ that I've spent so much time, money, and so much time and money on and making videos with, it's actually still in the family. Thankfully, it would have hurt to watch it go elsewhere and never see it again. But the XJ is still with the family. But besides that, here's the new project car. And not only is it going to be my daily, my project car, I'm going to try my best to take good care of this thing. Um, as you can tell, like this thing is, it's almost completely flawless. The interior is mint. Don't mind the dirt. I took a picture at work earlier, <coughs> but this thing is absolutely awesome. The top is in magnificent shape. So here it is guys if you don't know much about the wrangler or the rubicon i should say um this one has a six-speed manual and front and rear dana 44 axles with 411 gear ratio and obviously the axle locker or axles locking this thing i can't wait to put this little handle up in the four low and put this switch oh, i can't even and put this switch to good use i can't wait to test out this jeep it does have 161,000 miles but my xj had 230,000. so these four liters run and we know they run everybody who has one knows they run long and they're great motors um this jeep it's an 05 um 161,000 miles so it's obviously not in new car condition. Like here's a little blemish there in the fender. I mean, this fender has a little dent. There's some like little rock chips, but this thing is great. The frame has no holes in it. It has an aftermarket exhaust on it. It's not loud. It does make a little bit of noise and it has a um, AutoZone or auto parts store cheap air filter on it. That's extremely loud. I don't like it. I'm considering putting it back to stock because it's, it's just obnoxious. So, that being said, what do you guys think? So, no joke, yesterday on my way to the dealership, I cried on my way there, the whole way there. I mean, it's a five, ten minute drive for me. I was tearing up the whole way there. I don't know if it was because I was sad I was getting rid of the XJ or <coughs> if I was excited to be getting a Rubicon. But that being said... I know some of you did not like the whole clickbait gladiator thing. You didn't want me to get rid of the XJ, especially for a gladiator, I guess. So I'm sorry to break your heart to my XJ fans, my XJ loyalists who have been, there's been a few bumming me on YouTube about getting rid of the XJ and a few on Instagram, but it doesn't bother me because a TJ Rubicon is literally, it's my dream Jeep. I'm 20 years old and I have one of my dream vehicles already and it's not I mean it's in great condition it's I think the only thing I would change about it is it being black but I don't mind the orange the orange is absolutely the orange is absolutely phenomenal it's in great condition it's bright it looks great in the sunlight I love the orange but we need a nickname for this thing so we're gonna have to give this project a really cool nickname or just a plain old nickname like I'm kind of already calling it Ruby the Rubicon, even if it is orange. 
that's what it is it's a it's a it's a ruby i mean just take a look at this thing it's tiny it's small but we're going to reach out to some companies see if we can't get a little bit of a partner slash sponsorship going with all types of companies man but i'm so excited for this thing more so because it's my dream vehicle i understand i built a, a jeep cherokee audience over the last year and a half two years of me doing vlogs so a lot of you guys follow me for the cherokee or you follow me for off-road or you just follow me for jeep content or maybe because you actually like my video content but here's a new project vehicle i hope you guys like it i put about 60 miles on it between 50 and 60 miles on it and i'm absolutely in love with it like I said, I know some of you XJ guys are going to be butthurt and unsubscribe, dislike the video, but I'm not doing this for you guys. I did it for me. This is a dream vehicle of mine, and I am able, I was able to get it at the age of 20. So I bit the opportunity, and here it is. If you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with this Jeep, like, I, I like the bumper, don't get me wrong, but if you want... I think I kind of want to change this front bumper. I'm fine with the back bumper. Um, it's going to need to be able to fit a bigger tire on that tire carrier. But we're definitely going to lift it, put bigger tires on it. But other than that, I mean, it's already got 411 gears in it from factory and front and rear lockers in it. And the transfer case has a 4 to 1 ratio and low. So with it being a 6-speed, I can't wait to see how it actually performs off-road. But if you guys enjoyed this video... I know you're going to be... Oh, there's my hand. Hold on. I know some of you are going to be a little upset that I got rid of the Cherokee. So be it. I'm excited for this thing. I can't wait to go off-road with it. Comment down below what you guys want to see content-wise with this. Um, leave a like if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button because we are going to have a crap load of fun with this thing. And I can't wait for it. I hope you guys enjoy your time. Till next time. Peace out.